Welcome to this tutorial in which I will show you how to create a piece of art in response to David Theron. Um, and I have already taken uh, three photographs of myself in different positions and uh, got rid of the backgrounds using the polygonal lasso tool and then pressing delete. And I've also turned them black and white with image adjustments, black and white. And I'm now going to start working on what will be the middle layer um, in which I need the top of the head. So I'm going to go to the polygonal lasso tool. I'm going to zoom in because I like to work up close to be able to see everything. And I'm going to start by just going around the nose. And I like the crease by the nose, so I'm going to keep that in and then scroll over and go around the ear um, seeing as I've got rid of the background it's very easy to get around the top of the head double click control C to copy it go to what is the base layer control V and I will place the middle layer where I want it to be paying attention to really the front where the nose is meeting the brow of the bottom image okay and I'm going to now use a mixture of um, blending and deleting to achieve a more seamless result so I'm using the blending tool at the moment and just smoothing out around the nose, around the nostril, then down that crease and then across the face. And obviously the more blending you do, the more seamless it gets. Um, I need to be careful because I've got hairs. I need to think about where lights and darks are also crossing over each other just to make sure I blend those together better. Okay, and where I've got an area here where I've got quite a lot of hairs going on, it's going to be difficult to blend that together. So a little trick I just want to teach you rather than having this kind of blurred effect is to go to what we call the clone stamp And if you press Alt and click, it clones that area that you just clicked on and allows you to just paste what you just copied into different areas. So it allows me in this area where I've got a texture to kind of replicate that texture. Right, next up we use the eraser tool just to delete around my ear very carefully and you're going to then use the um, smudge tool just to feather that a little bit just so it's a little bit more smooth. Uh, I also like to have a little bit of the darkness showing because it's almost a bit like a, a shadow from one ear to the next. Okay now I zoom out show you the whole thing. That's my middle layer on top of my base layer now. And I'm going to do the same again with my top layer. And I'm going to zoom in. This time I'm going to kind of, with the polygonal lasso tool, get rid of my cheek. So I just start from my nose around the crease and then across. and down and around my head. Again, having removed the background, it's very easy to go around the head. And control C, control V, and there it is. And you'll see if I try and paste this now, it's gonna go off the top of the page. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to canvas size 
and I'm going to make sure the little dots down the bottom there because I only want to make it taller. And I'm going to go to height and I'm going to change the percentage from 100 to 120 and that's going to give me more canvas at the top and more space to work in. Okay, and I'm just going to adjust this to where I want it to be. Again, so the nose is just above the brow. And yeah, okay, so I want it. And then I'm going to blend it in the same way as I did the last layer. Zooming in, getting the smudge tool and working around the nose first, just to make that more seamless. Again, working that crease so that it fits, so that it blends nicely, and then blending it up so I can see my eyebrow. And I've just sped this up just a little bit so that it doesn't take so long. But what I'm doing is just continuing to blend the cheek together. Some areas require a little bit more blending than others, particularly where you've got light and dark meeting. You want to make sure that those are blended as much as you need. Okay, now I'm going to take the eraser tool, erase around my ear again and just make sure that everything is taken away from the top layer that needs to be. And again, I am going to then get the blending tool and just blend those together a little bit. Just to make that edge less pronounced. I think I might use the clone stamp again. Just stamp where I feel like it should be. And back to the smudge tool, just to smudge in a little bit more. And around the ear, just to make that little bit of shadow that I feel works very nicely. Just a little bit of shadow. Okay. And then I'm going to zoom out and have a look at the whole thing. And it's at that point that you can see, hmm, okay, that needs a little bit of work. So here, I just want to blend this out a little bit more, bring the lightness of that eyebrow up so that it looks a bit more natural. He says blending three heads together. Okay. Right, zoom out again. That looks better to me. Okay, right, so last thing to do, crop off that area at the top. And crop, there we go. And we need to put a background in. So new layer, drag that layer to the bottom. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the eyedropper and I'm just going to grab a kind of light gray from the lightest bit of my skin so that it kind of matches the photos and then paint bucket and fill. And that is the image done and dusted. I'm just gonna have one last play with the brightness and contrast. So I'm gonna merge those layers together and I'm gonna to go to image adjustments, brightness and contrast and have a bit of a play. And I'm happy with that. So that is the end of this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful.